Kurt Volker, former U.S. ambassador, joins me now. Kurt, Mr. Ambassador, I should say, to be strictly formal, Mr. Ambassador, uh, they could win. Ukraine could win if we give them the weapons. Are we going to give them the weapons? Well, absolutely they can and they should win. There is no justification for Russia's aggression. They should not be rewarded with Ukrainian territory. Uh, the Ukrainians are asking for long-range artillery systems. We're giving them 80-kilometer range already, but we could do 150 or 300-kilometer range artillery. And so far, the administration is still saying no. They think that would be too provocative. But frankly, the Ukrainians need it. The argument is that they don't want the Ukrainians striking into Russian territory. But the fact is that the Ukrainians could do that today if they wanted to. They're not doing it. And what they need the long range for is to go after those Russian supply lines inside Ukrainian territory, encampments of Russian forces, ammunition depots, fuel depots, uh, the bridges, uh, for instance, the Kerch Strait Bridge that connects Russia to Crimea. These are all things that are still beyond Ukraine's reach at the moment. And better and longer range weapons from the U.S. could turn that around. Everybody seems to be worried about what Putin's going to do. And if we push him too far, what will he do? That's, that, that's a constraint on us at the moment, isn't it? Well, it is, and I, I think it's realistic to be concerned about that and to think, what are his options? Would he resort to a tactical nuclear use? Would he use some other kind of weapon of mass destruction? But the fact is that Putin's options are actually very limited. They have thrown everything they have into this war in Ukraine already, and they've been losing. They've probably lost a half of their conventional combat capability already. Oof. Suppose they do go to a general mobilization, which I don't think is likely. But even if they did, you're talking about recruiting people into a military who have no experience, no training, and no desire to go fight in Ukraine. They, they view Ukraine as a friendly country. Uh, so Putin has very few options that he can actually pursue. Good to hear that the Ukrainians are winning and we're using the word victory when we're talking about the war over yes. there. I say that's a positive sign. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for, for being with us, as always, sir. Hope to see you again soon. Always a pleasure to be with you, Stuart. Thank yes, you.